Hi guys, welcome back. So in today's vlog, we are gonna go shopping. I'm gonna check out some of the goodies in Cartier. So I thought I have to bring you guys along. If you like shopping vlogs, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. But let's go check out some of their gorgeous bracelets and rings. Cartier today. So this is the plain love bracelet in the white gold and this is the one with the four diamonds and the sales associate was explaining to me that the difference between them is that the four is rhodium plated. Is that correct? So this one is a little bit more, this one's a bit more grey isn't it you would say and this one with all the white gold with diamond we do rhodium plating. Rhodium plating. It does look yep. nicer. It does look nicer, doesn't it? I'm not sure if you guys can actually see the difference, but I actually like this finish better. So I'm going to try it on my wrist now. So here I have the four diamond rhodium plated love bangle on. And the sales associate is just putting on the yellow gold version for me because I want to see which suits me better. So what do you guys think? So this is the yellow gold with my current bracelet and the other one is the white gold. They're both so beautiful. I really like the ones with the four diamonds. Of course you can get the version with the plain but I just love the look of the four diamonds. So white gold or yellow gold. And since I'm trying the four diamond love bangle on I have to try the beautiful rose gold as well. As you can see, there's not that much difference between the yellow gold and the rose gold. Their rose gold, or they call it pink gold as well, is really subtle. It's this beautiful pink, and I really like it on my skin tone. So it actually goes really well. I'm not sure in future if I want to add yellow gold and rose gold. I've seen a lot of people sort of stack that together, even with white gold. It is just so confusing because there's so many beautiful options. There's diamonds, there's plain, there's 10 diamonds. So here it is again guys, yellow gold and then that is the rose gold with my current uh, bangle. <music> This is the shots and clue with the nail head with all diamonds. What do you guys think? It's in the pink gold. What do you think? Oh, by the way, this is in size 15, which is the same size as the 16 in the love, just for size reference. Do you guys think it's too much with the white gold, yellow gold, and then the rose gold? And this is the yellow gold. Okay, so for price, guys, this is about 35000 and this one is about 37000 
I'm wearing size 53 for reference. This fits really nice. I would wear it on my index. And just to show you guys the difference, this is the one with the diamonds. So this is the white gold with the diamonds. It's about 5,700. And then there's a plain version. Or do you like, which, one's, which one do you like better? That's that as a comparison. It also comes in the pink gold. Plain. So this size is good because I can wear it on my index and in my middle, on my middle finger. So I am wearing the Justin Clue earrings. I don't see as many people wear these, but you guys know I'm such an earring person. So what do you think? These are the ones with the diamonds. Of course I had to pick the ones with the diamonds. This is the beautiful range of the Cartier Love Rings and I'm just going to get the sales associate to go through them. So let's start off with this one, which is this one. There is a full pave mini love. Yep. Three diamond classic mini love plain. Mini love plain. And a classic plain and a mini love one diamond and a triple small X pave. The triple X pave. Okay. Small. We don't really have a name for this. So guys, this is the classic love ring, no diamonds, in the rose gold. But just have a look, when I wear the one with the three diamonds, it just looks so much more chunkier on me. And that is because the width of it, if you have a look and compare, it is thicker. Can you say that? Let me just take that off. Can you see that it's thicker? Actually, what we have here is half a million dollars, guys. The sales staff are so kind. They wanted to show me this. It's really rare for them to get a piece like this in the boutique. It's a beautiful pear-shaped 5.7 carat diamond ring, D color IF, which means internally flawless. I am so in love. Yeah, I am just kind of a bit lost for words, but yeah hefty price tag so in terms of all the luxury brands you will find that with Cartier their diamonds tend to be the most expensive that's what uh, my sales associate told me anyway but look at this beauty here are some of the watches I actually don't know that much about Cartier watches but I thought I would just show you guys anyway some of the styles that they have <laughs> Here are some others. Sorry guys, I actually don't know the names. But it's good to, just to show you some eye candy. Oh, they do pens as well. So guys, I just want to explain why I'm in Cartier. So recently I got this handed down. To me, it is my late mother-in-law's. You guys know I am not usually a bracelet person, but since I got this beautiful piece, I thought it looked really lonesome. And that's why I've come to Cartier today because I definitely want to add something to this. This is such a special piece and yeah, 
as I said, I've come to Cartier before, but never really thought of adding anything. I haven't had any reason to, but now because of this piece, that, and that's the reason why I am here today. So guys, that is it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the Cartier rings and bracelets. I hope I showed you enough. I think it was quite a long vlog. I had the best first experience. I met a fantastic sales associate, just very, very happy. And I cannot wait to show you what I got in the next video. So if you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Have a wonderful day or night, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.